Alrighty. If somebody's first break, uh, in the last break too, and we, we ended up pulling that gold Boba Bichette, and it was his team. I thought that card was going to be more expensive, but it looked like the last sell was like uh, 175 or 200 for that Boba shit. I thought that was going to be like a $500 card, but maybe if you got it graded, it would be a little more than that. But anyways, we will start tonight with the hanger boxes. I figure the autos are going to be kind of the more exciting thing for the break. So not a lot of room on this table, but. I'll make do with it. I'm ready to get to all those autos. 20 per box should be pretty fun. Like I said, there's the all the box information. I don't believe the hangers that you can get the downtowns out of them. So I do have some blasters. I think I'm going to mix with these Aspire boxes next. So maybe a Mega as well. I don't know. Anyways, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Like I guess I'm going to scoot some of this around so I can make a little more room, get the boxes out of the way. But we'll run through the base uh, pretty quick on these Donner's hangers. Try to get to the meat of the pack a little bit quicker. I don't think I've seen a hot box out of Aspire yet. I've watched a couple different videos where guys said that there's uh, hot boxes of those autographs. I don't know if that means they've got multiple numbered cards or if it just means like all of them are the the rainbow foil or what it is, but I'm hoping we can get a hot box eventually. I've got like 20 of these boxes left, so I just, I don't know, I think people underappreciate the auto sometimes, even if it is uh, a Spire product. It's always cool to get a, an autograph. I so said I'm going to go through these base pretty fast. I'm still pretty slow. I do like to let you guys look at all of them uh, so you know what's coming. But it just takes a little bit longer if I say everyone's name. There's a Josh Allen mask card. We'll get to the rookies here in a second. Jay Lorenzo got the wild hairdo. Takes a special person to play cornerback, I feel like. Cornerback's about like a uh, kicker. You don't get rewarded when you do when you do well, but everybody hates you when you give up that big touchdown. All right, well, here's a good start. We got a Davis Mills rated rookie. Patrick Sertan, not a bad one either for the Broncos. Chuba Hubbard, that'll be all right. And we got a Greg Rousseau for the Bills. Hopefully you get a nice red press proof rated rookie as well uh, Darren Waller red Derwin James Jr got DJ Chark I think you can pull autos out of the hangar so if we get crazy lucky our uh, rated rookie is Adopio Way for the Ravens not a bad player there there's a Trey Lance Gridiron Kings rookie Zach Wilson Elite Series rookies Got a Legends Series, Ray Lewis. Elite Series, George Kittle. A lot of shine in these inserts. Uh, Hall of Fame card. I guess they call it the inducted Peyton Manning for the Colts. Got a Tom Brady, uh, Road to the Super Bowl insert for the Bucks. The Bucks have a lot of Super Bowl cards in here. Most of them are these right here. Uh, the Champ is here, Ronald Jones, second. Another shiny one. Dominators, Philip Lindsay um, for the Texans. Kind of a confusing card there, but they do have him updated with the uh, team name, just jerseys old. Got uh, Action All Pros, Aaron Donald. And our last one is Tylen Wallace, the rookies for the Ravens. I feel like we got more rookies than normal out of the hangers. I don't remember that many inserts and parallels but good start to the break uh there'll be a lot of top loading in this break we'll probably have about a uh, 50 to 60 card recap at the end so 
Alright, if you do get a little beat up, fall asleep, a little wore down, a uh, video will be uploaded to the Facebook group right afterwards, and then I'll also post it on YouTube. So it'll be up there as well. Hopefully you guys can stay with me for 35, 40 minutes. There you go. The card going one way and the sleeve wants to go another. There we go. Uh, the best break we've had of this stuff was probably the night uh, we had Trevor Lawrence in back-to-back -back boxes. And the very next break, or maybe one break in between, we pulled another Trevor Lawrence. So uh, These boxes are so random. We've had Mac Jones, Trey Lance. I don't think we pulled a Justin Fields uh, or a Zach Wilson yet. But anyways, pulled some good position players too. Dang, there's a lot of decent cards in that hanger box. I've opened probably probably 25 hangers now. Have yet to pull an auto, so we're about due for one of those. One of those Donner's autographs. I didn't even check to score the football game tonight. Um, I didn't even know who was playing, honestly. I know the Dodgers and Giants were playing game five, baseball-wise. But I had a meeting tonight. I wasn't paying attention to all the sports going on. saw uh, a couple different breaks listed on eBay the other day. It was, it was like uh, 20 prestige football hanger boxes, which those hanger boxes have 60 cards for prestige. And uh, that's a 1,200-card break. I can't imagine the monotony of that break. Prestige can be sometimes boring in the first place, but to go through... 60 probably base cards. I'm sure he just got to the point where he was just breaking off the stack to where it got to the the meat of the packs, but Some of the photos are cool and stuff but when you I'm sure you guys have seen pretty much all of these at some point already Oh, there's Tom Brady no helmet. That's a pretty close game then 28 to 22 All right, we made it you got uh, Amir Smith-Marset Ready rookie for the Vikings. Javon Holland for the Dolphins. And Carlos Boogie Basham for the Bills. Oh, we got another one. I don't usually remember seeing four, but a little bonus there. Kadarius Tony for the Giants. J.K. Dobbins red. Taysom Hill red. Denzel Mims red. Had a couple second year guys in here. And nice color, team color match, but. Uh, it's a Noah Gray rated rookie for the Chiefs. Oh, Davis Mills coming in again. Got the portrait for the Texans. Huh. Can't imagine if they got an auto, they'd have a real rowdy break. There's a nice looking Josh Allen power formulas. Not a rare card, but a uh, sweet looking insert. Another Kadarius Tony. This is Elite Series rookies. We got a Legend Series Joe Montana for the Niners. Highlights insert of Russell Wilson. You can get retro series autos, but they're pretty short print. I think they're numbered to like 75. There's a Terry Bradshaw retro series. Got a Highlights Jerry Judy. Uh, Dominators Tua for the Dolphins. Alvin Kamara, Action All Pros. I'm not a huge fan of these cards. You can't even see half the word back there. I got the Rookies insert of Kyle Pitts. Nice one for the Falcons there. And then Kid Reporter. 
Davis Mills, probably the winner of the hanger boxes. We did get a Zach Wilson insert as well, though. I'm ready for these auto boxes. I think Kadarius Tony had like negative two receiving yards through the first two or three weeks of the season. He had that breakout week. I feel like football season comes and goes so fast. I just feel like yesterday was week one. We're already starting week six now, I guess. Alrighty, best of luck to you guys as we go into these autographs. I hope we can get a few numbered autographs. They actually write the number by hand on the card, so that's kind of... kind of neat. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm going to set this up. Maybe it'll stay. I'll put those sleeves in front of it. That'll get to stay probably. All right, let's rip this open and get the, the little case out. It's like a container of some sort. I do like these little boxes though, they're actually pretty heavy duty. They're like storing something, you can put cards back in here. Uh, they just have like a little clear seal, so I cut that. And then we'll be ready to roll. This is the tricky part. I haven't figured out the best way to do this. Sometimes you see the the back card, but I'm going to try to hide it. Maybe you saw it. Maybe you didn't. It's like there's a lot of red and bronze in here. Uh, I think we're just going to do it like this again. Take the thing off and we'll get it rolling. Alrighty, here we go. We got Brevin Jordan starting off with the Texans again. They were already hot in the hanger boxes. We got red parallels, bronze parallels. Uh, we call like oil paintings or oil spills. They're actually, I guess, rainbow foils. But next one is Jay Tuffle. The Jaguars. I haven't actually pulled this one before. Defensive tackle. It's always good to see a new one. This guy is almost in every single box. Hamza Nasruddin for the New York Jets. Safety. Colin Hill, free agent pickup for Cincinnati. Uh-oh, they, they worried about Joe Burrow? I don't understand why the teams do that, I guess. If you think someone's got some raw talent, why not take a shot at him? I guess you never know when your QB is going to get thumped. Oh, that's not a bad one. A uh, nice rainbow foil Greg Rousseau. Pick number 30 for the Bills.
better than a lot of uh, the autos I've seen in here that aren't like the big names. This boy, this boy right here, he's in a lot of product too. Jake Funk for the Rams. Seventh round pick, almost Mr. Irrelevant. What is Mr. Irrelevant actually? 32 times 7. That should be 224. I forget what number Mr. Irrelevant is. You guys probably know. Uh, Kelvin Joseph, bronze. Pick number 44 for the Cowboys. KJ Costello, another quarterback free agent pickup by the Chargers. So a couple of the teams that had solid QB drafts in 2020 snagging some free agent QBs in 2021. Well, this is not a bad one. A little Chuba Hubbard. He's been getting a little PT. I'm not sure. I know the red and the bronze. Uh, so he's got, uh, that top loader's got some junk in it. I know the uh, red and the bronze tend to pop up about the same amount. We've been getting some red. We've been getting some bronze so far. The... Uh, Elijah Vera Tucker, pick 14 for the Jets. The rainbow foils are definitely uh, more rare. And then, of course, you got the uh, numbered cards as well. So, Oh, here's another nice one. Javante Williams, pick 35 for Denver. Some some lower uh, numbered draft picks this time. We have some free agents too, but they've been quarterbacks. Oh, there we go. Got an Ian Book. Pick 133. I didn't realize he was that far down the draft. These cards do have a little bit of corner. I don't know if you can see. I already got it in the sleeve, but. There you go, you can see a little bit there. They have a little corner wear, which I can imagine putting them in the, whatchamacallit, doesn't help really. It's probably worse than a one-touch, putting them in that little case for shipping. Uh, Spencer Brown for Buffalo, offensive lineman. So we've gotten three quarterback autos so far, um, but not a first-rounder yet. Uh, Michael Strachan for the Colts. I thought he had a decent preseason. I can't remember, though. I feel like people were talking about him a little bit. Still got a few left here. This, this guy's in every box. Jamar Johnson. Him, Dean, and Jake Funk always hanging out like every box. So if you're a fan, just go ahead and snag Denver over and over. I would almost, on Denver's listing, I could almost put guaranteed auto on there and like not have any fear. You got TJ Vasher, free agent pickup for the Dallas Cowboys. I want to see a number of cards. We haven't, I haven't plucked one out yet. Another old lineman. Um, pretty high draft pick, though. Walker Little for the Jaguars.
Hey, there we go. Nice. Pick number three for the San Francisco 49ers. A little Trey Lance. Very nice. You got a Trey Lance insert. A Joe Montana insert. Had a Donruss. And we got a Trey Lance auto. Sweet. Very nice. I think we got two more. I can pick them up once I get down to the very bottom. It's kind of hard. Uh, Christian Upoff, free agent. So that's our sixth free agent, I think. Uh, this one's going to Green Bay. And this last one, I'll probably have to get a sleeve and slide up under it. There we go. Another Dallas free agent pickup. They must just pick up everybody like the Lakers do. Uh, Osiris Mitchell. I'm not sure if I pronounced his name right, but... Another one there for Dallas. Take the top loaders out of the way so we can get to the next box here. Not bad. We got... Uh, Trey Lance in there. We had some other low-end draft picks. Ian Book, auto. I forgot we got that. I think Javante Williams was in there. Nice. It seems to be that way. You see, it seems like we get one, maybe two big, like, like monster names, like top guys. Uh, I think one break we had, like, a Kyle Pitts and maybe Trevor Lawrence or something like that in one box and just stuff like that. And then you get, like, a lot of just random other guys. And they may not be, like, some of them are free agent stuff, but you could get lucky and snag some some random ones that are pretty decent in there that kind of unexpected. I didn't expect the Ian Book. I don't think I pulled an Ian Book yet, so that was pretty nice. That was still a little sticky. There we go. Yeah, I don't know... Uh, why they ship them in these cases like that. It's probably just a easy process for them to package and ship, but... Oh, you might have seen the back there. Sorry if you did. Like I said, I haven't seen a hot box yet. I don't even know what's supposedly in them, but... Both the breaks I watched, the guys were talking... Maybe we'll get a hot box, so I don't know. We also didn't get a numbered card in the last one, so uh, maybe we can turn that around. I may have to grab some more sleeves. I'll just grab some to be ready. All right, well, let's get after it. Best of luck in this last box here. Uh, Washington football team got him one. John Bates, tight end. He's actually in uh, quite a bit of product this year. Uh, Nick Bolton for the Chiefs. Chiefs don't have a lot rookie-wise uh, this year. I can only think of a few. I think Noah Gray's and Donruss. Uh, Cornell Powell. Nick Bolton. I don't even know if they gave Nick Bolton a Donruss card. Honestly, don't even know if I can get this Nick Bolton in the sleeve. There we go. Move some of these cards over here. Actually, let me take and find that Trey Lance real quick. I need to have a a display card. I don't do that very often, so I forget that I've got it right here. Boop. Nice. Alrighty. There he is. Nazrul Dean for the Jets. Telling you, I'm, I'm gonna start putting guarantees on the Jets and the Cowboys listings and the and the Broncos, or maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just Jets and Broncos that have the Nazrul Dean and that one kid. 
There's another Colin Hill uh, free agent pickup for the Bengals. Bronze. I think we got an interesting parallel coming up that I haven't seen before. It may be numbered or else the light's just shining on it weird. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Number 2 of 10 for the Buccaneers, Joe Tryon, linebacker. Pick number 32. Very nice. I uh, pulled a, uh, I guess they call it like an emerald maybe. It was a green. It was actually out of five. One time. So, but this one actually looks a little bit cooler. Always wonder why the gold sometimes aren't numbered the lowest. Another Jake Funk. No surprise there. He's very popular in this Aspire product. Um, maybe I should just list the blowout break and do like 10 of these boxes. You got the metric Felton running back for the Browns. What would that be? 200 autos? I don't think you guys can handle that. I couldn't handle it. It'd be overwhelming. Uh, James Hudson, rainbow foil, also for the Browns. So rainbow foil is only popping up like one per box, it seems. Uh-oh. Got a little Travis Etienne. There we go. Jacksonville's got him a few autos so far. Haven't pulled a Trevor yet, though. I think they got a couple... Maybe a lineman and a, maybe two linemen. I don't remember for sure. That's a nice one, though. Hopefully, he'll come back nice and strong. Elijah Bear Tucker's in a lot of uh, the boxes as well for the Jets. I haven't seen a Zach Wilson yet, so if we get a Zach Wilson with all these other Jets autos, it'll be a field day for the Jets. Kenny Nwangu. He's in a lot of product as well. I know he's got some Donruss cards for Minnesota. Kind of a crappy auto though. Jalen Darden. Another Tampa Bay auto. There's only been a couple guys I've seen use black marker. Most of them are blue. I'm not sure why or why not they would use a different color, but probably just didn't listen to instructions. Another offensive lineman. This one's from Washington. Sam Cosme. Pick 51, it looks like. Jalen Camp, another Jaguars auto. I believe I pulled this many Jags autos before. He's a little bit further down the draft there, though. Waiting on my boy. There he is. Jamar Johnson, he always pops up. Can't go a break without Jamar Johnson. He's got terrible... Faded auto on most of his cards. It, I think they stuck some of them together because we had a break where his cards were stuck back to back. And the second one didn't even have an auto on it. So he just really jacked up all his stuff, it seems. Because his auto stink. He used a black marker. He's in every single box. He must have had some cheap autos. Hey, there's a Jalen Waddle. Pick six for Miami. Woo! Nice. 
Hopefully we can still get a big quarterback out of here. We've had a couple nice young running backs. Travis Etienne. Javante Williams, that was the last box, I guess. We just got that Jalen Waddle. Joseph Asai, big 68 for the Bengals. Bengals got him another one. Uh oh, got a little Sam Ellinger in there. Dang, I didn't know he's around six pick. I guess that makes sense. Nobody really talks about him much. I think he played for Texas though. Another quarterback. We got a lot of quarterbacks tonight. Ian Book, Trey Lance, Ellinger, a couple of free agent pickups. Getting down. I think I got two more autos left. I'll just go ahead and pick them both up. We'll just go ahead and look at both of them. Phew. Dylan Stoner and Javon Holland. Javon Holland is actually a second round pick. And it looks like Stoner was free agent. I guess we didn't get a monster quarterback out of that one. They just gave us quite a few... Uh, like mid-tier players. Travis Etienne, Jalen Waddles, Sam Ellinger type stuff. Which is fine. I just... Most of the boxes have had a big monster quarterback card. Big quarterback auto. Anyways, we will go ahead and do a recap. We did pull some nice autos. Uh, well, that one's stuck. Alrighty. We got the Trey Lance, probably the best auto of the break. Uh, Kadarius, Tony Rady, rookie. Brevin Jordan, auto for Houston. Uh, Jay Tuffle for the Jaguars. Nazrul Dean for the Jets. Colin Hill for the Bengals. Greg Rousseau, uh, rainbow foil for the Bills. If, uh, if you guys are, like, selling these, I would definitely check out which ones are more rare like i said i know the rainbow foil has got to be more rare the red and the bronze seem to be about the same and then of course you have the numbered cards and stuff like that but uh jake funk kelvin joseph kj costello chuba hubbard not a bad one elijah vera tucker javante williams another decent one there's ian book spencer brown michael strachan jamar johnson tj vasher Walker Little, Christian Upoff, uh, Osiris Mitchell, John Bates, there's a Nick Bolton for the Chiefs, Joseph Asai for the Bengals, nice Sam Ellinger there, Javon Holland's not bad, and Dylan Stoner for the Raiders. Them Raiders in the headlines this week, huh? Our next batch, oh, we got some Donnerson here, Tylen Wallace, the rookies, we got a Tom Brady Super Bowl insert, Zach Wilson, Elite Series rookies. Trey Lance, uh, Gridiron Kings rookies. Adafi Way, Red Raider rookie. Chuba Hubbard, Patrick Sertan, and Davis Mills, Raider rookies. Got a Kyle Pitts, the rookies insert. Dominators, Tua. Joe Montana, uh, Legend Series. Another Kadarius Tony, this is Elite Series rookies insert. Got a Power Formulas, Josh Allen. A Davis Mills portrait. A Noah Gray. Red press proof. Then we got Nazrul Dean Auto, another Colin Hill, Joe Tryon, two of ten for the Buccaneers. Nice one there. Uh, Jake Funk, Demetric Felton, James Hudson, Rainbow Foil there. We got a Travis Etienne, another Elijah Vera Tucker, Kenny Nwangu, Jalen Darden, uh, Sam Cosme, Jalen Camp. Jamar Johnson, and there was the Jalen Waddle, probably our best auto from the second box. Him, Travis Etienne, and Sam Ellinger were probably the top three from that one. But anyways, I do hear a train coming. Glad we could snag a big Trey Lance and get some other decent autos. Um, I got quite a few more of these boxes. They'll probably be mixed with different stuff going forward. I don't have too many of the hangers left, so we might do one more hanger break, mix it with some blasters, or maybe even mix it with another product altogether, but I just don't like doing 40-card breaks, just kind of a 
leaves a lot a lot out for different teams usually so anyways uh, if you guys need anything shoot me a message i'll ship all the cards out tomorrow um you guys have a nice friday we will catch you later see ya